climate very interesting right so this is a little bit what needs more uh, intellectual or thinking uh, to figure things out so be be with me right this is based on a research done by daniel goleman who is a professor at harvard have you heard of daniel goleman he is the guy who popularized this term called emotional intelligence yeah okay so his research shows a strong positive correlation to financial results when the organization has these aspects in their climate and that is why we are talking about and he sees he shows that about one third of the results are coming because of these aspects of climate i think that's makes sense right one third 33 percent or so it's coming because of this things in the climate flexible to renovate yeah not about bureaucracy people are taking responsibility people are taking putting their hands up when they make a mistake they are accountable for things yeah and all the other things that we looked at right that's richard boyasis professor at uh, case western reserve university so startling results right startling results <laughs> his research shows 50% of people in leadership positions are not adding value at all isn't that scary 50% of people in leadership positions not add in value at all this is a study done in the states now imagine if that is done in sri lanka would it be better or worse <laughs> worse worse right because why not that we have better worse people than the states in the states it's a high and fire culture right even in a high and fire culture you know what high and fire is if you don't perform you come the next day to work you have a pink slip on your desk and you said go home and that's it no labor tribunal no nothing you're out even in that culture If 50% are not adding value in our culture, where everybody is secure in their jobs because you can't fire them, <laughs> I think that is going to be significantly higher. All right, 20 to 30% are adding value in one person's point of view. <laughs> one person thinks they are good. <laughs> It doesn't say much, right? And 70 to 80% can be removed, and the organization will function better. <laughs> 80% can be removed and the organization may be better now if if any of you are thinking that could be me <laughs> i hope it's a good wake up call <laughs> get your act together right so i was listening to this audio book so i i read a lot but i listen to audio books when i'm walking or jogging or whatever or driving and i think i find that's a great use of my time so i was listening to this audio book where it said it's it was a book by a guy called zig ziglar have you heard of zig ziglar says and motivation and all this so zig ziglar was the like the top guy before tony robbins so heard of tony robbins zig ziglar very very similar so what is one thing this guy said was if you are adding value to enough people or if you are helping enough people succeed in what they want to achieve you never have to worry about whether you will succeed or not if you are helping enough of people to achieve their goals and succeed you never have to worry about you succeed i think that's absolutely true isn't it sir absolutely true right yeah because if you are adding value we don't have to have to be scared right yeah i i changed careers i changed careers not jobs changed careers about four times in my life so far yeah, yeah. and radical changes yeah and it doesn't been very bad <laughs> yeah so as long as you know you are adding value and you have high self esteem high self confidence not boru self confidence or boru self esteem but built on a solid foundation you can do anything anywhere in any circumstance don't ever be scared sometimes you are scared right think in this country what's going on blah 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 right no I always tell people Sri Lankans are not the 225 Sri Lanka is not the 225 Sri Lanka is us correct we are Sri Lanka so if we all turn things around the country will turn around yes, there are policies and all of that this is not sugar coating stuff but you find a way so yeah correct right so no one so this is this is the study and this is the aspects of culture and these are different leadership styles Don't worry about the numbers. It looks complex. It's not. Yeah, Rangika. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So what this shows is there are six different leadership styles which I will teach you, which we will go through. Some of the leadership styles have a strong positive correlation to 
building a better culture. That's what we are trying to talk about. And a better climate. All right? So strong positive is authoritative, affiliative, democratic, and coaching. Strongly negative is coercive and face setting. <laughs> All right? And out of the strongly positive, the strongest is authoritative. All right? So what they are trying to say is, the more we use the, the, the styles which are in black there, the better. Yes? The less we use the styles in red, the better. Not to say the styles in red should never be used. They have their time and their place. But caution, don't use too much of them. It could be a negative impact. Are you all with me? Are you all following?